Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's talk about proportions in a little bit more detail because there's some special properties of proportions that make them really handy to use in all kinds of equations and all kinds of applications in math and science. So, again, a proportion is two uh, what we call ratios set equal to each other in the form of an equation. Now, let's say we have two thirds equal six ninths, and a quick uh, check will say yes, that's indeed the case because if we multiply two by three, we get six. Multiply 3 by 3, we get 9, so therefore they must be equal to one another. But when we have two equations set equal to each other, we can write them like this, and this is especially important. We use this all the time. In other words, another way of, of saying this is we can cross multiply the members in the diagonal. So we can multiply 2 times 9 and set it equal to 3 times 6, just like we showed you there. So that is one of the properties of proportions. Another thing that we can do is we can interchange. We can interchange the 6 and the 3, so we can write this like this by putting the 6 down here and the 3 up there, and we get the exact same proportion. Well, I shouldn't say we get the exact same proportion. We get another proportion, but again, the two sides are equal to one another, so they're not exactly the same, of course. And what we could also have done is we could have moved the 2 and the 9. We could move the 9 over there and the 2 over there, and again, we would have another proportion that, again, would be valid. Another thing that we can do is we can take the inverse of both of the fractions on either side of the equal sign. So instead of writing two thirds, we can write three halves and set it equal to nine six, just like we did over there. And again, we have a valid proportion. So there are some very handy things that we can do with proportions. We can move things across the diagonal. We can take the inverse of the two fractions, or we can cross multiply the diagonal members. So two times nine and three times six, and that is still equal to one another. And another thing we can do is, let's say we have three fractions right here, two-thirds equals four-sixths equals six-ninths. We can simply add up all the numerators and add up all the denominators, and we can say that this is therefore equal to that, which is equal to n of one of these ratios. So, it's interesting what we can do with proportions, and knowing this is very handy when we start working with equations and start multiplying, dividing, and all kinds of different things, especially in equation in, in ratio format or in, in a fraction format, it's very handy to know these particular rules or these properties of proportions.